Hello everyone, and welcome to my Feed the Beast Infinity World. Today I'm going to be doing a small little tutorial on oxygen stuff, on oxygen related stuff. So, what I made just then was I made some tin decoration blocks using some stone and some uh, compressed tin. And this is all for Galacticraft, so today we're just going to be tackling how to make stuff airtight in Galacticraft. So what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to make some sealable oxygen pipes. So these are oxygen pipes that function as a full opaque block, allowing them to function as sealed environments. Now we're going to go over to the moon. Actually, hold on. We're going to need to make one more thing. And this is something that I will be including in probably my Feed the Beast episode. And that is, this is our oxygen sealer. So this guy seals a place full of oxygen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. A uh, counterpart option to that would be the bubble distributor, which I will just pull up the recipe for right now. Bubble, the oxygen bubble distributor. So what this guy does is it, uh, it uh, takes collected oxygen and it emits it in a bubble format. So it just it's a constant size. The size cannot be changed or set as far as I know unless that has been updated. And this is how you make it. You just need some oxygen fans which are made like so. Some oxygen vents which are made like so. And then for these you're going to need some basic wafers which are made in the circuit fabricator with a diamond, some silicone, and some redstone torches. And that'll make that for you. But instead today I am making an oxygen sealer which instead seals only a target room. So depending on your setup, you might need the bubble distributor might be too much or might be too much. So why not just get the uh, smaller oxygen sealer for that little setup? Or the bubble distributor might not be enough. In which case, well then you might need just a, a bunch of oxygen sealers to do the job instead. So the effect of oxygen sealers does stack. It will increase in its ability over time. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take out this little block right here. I'm going to take my sealable oxygen pipe. I'm going to fill that hole right there. And I forgot to bring up some oxygen pipes with me. And I'm going to pump my little oxygen sealer right here. And so it is now getting energy from my little test rack set up over here, which is pulling out energy from Earth and just bringing it to the moon here. And this is an airlock. It just basically keeps the room sealed. Uh, it's a door. It's a sealable door. That's basically it. I've got one here as well. This is a two-tier system. So what will happen is that this room will be sealed by this little oxygen sealer. Once that happens, uh, this these airlocks are the only things keeping the oxygen in. When I open this one, oxygen will flood into this chamber, and the oxygen sealer will hopefully have enough uh, oxygen in it to seal both this room and this for the short period of time that this airlock is open. And then once the airlock closes again, when I'm in this space, I'll start using my oxygen tanks again because now the seal has been redone to only fit the room, the uh, the main room behind us. And now I open this guy up, and we're out to the open. If I didn't have this airlock here, that room would unseal every time I open this airlock. But instead, it's going to seal this room. When I open this one, it's going to seal this room, and this room for as long as this door is open. It's not necessary, but uh, depending on whether or not you have animals or other entities in the room, uh, having that little buffer that the seal can, can do both uh, does make a difference between them taking like a point of suffocation damage that will eventually uh, add up or not. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our oxygen pipes, which I have quite a few of. And I should have just taken my portal to get there quicker. No problemo. 
And we will be going back to the moon via our Mistcraft books. Oof. And right now I have my Ender IO conduits uh, working via a conduit facade right here. I don't know if that counts as a sealed block. We're about to find out, that's for sure. Uh, if it doesn't, then the alternative is just to move a Tesseract into that room as well, which kind of sucks, but it could be worse. So I'm just going to pull this over along here, way out of the way for our heads to hit it. Boom. And I should. Ooh, do you not pull oxygen from those things? Let's see if that's the case. Um. Okay, so let me make sure you're oriented the way I think you are. Looks like you are. And if I put you next to this thing, no oxygen filling in. Okay. If I put you here, an oxygen pipe there, oxygen fills in. Okay. That's a little inconvenient, but it could be a lot worse. I'm just going to need to go get myself some more power cables real quick. And uh, then we should be fine and dandy. I just need one more cable. One more cable. Oop. And I guess I can put the rest of these away for now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Shloom. And we are flying away. Moon. All right. Oh. And the room is sealed. Easy peasy. So I should be able to boop, boop, take these off and not suffer, suffer any suffocation when I open this door. This room is, should not be sealed. I should be taking suffocation right now. Is it my runic shielding? I hope it's not. No? Why aren't I taking damage? Oh, wow. Okay, now it's registering. That was weird. Okay. Just like that still sealed so I can now wander around this room without having to worry about oxygen set up however this room not so much this room despite the fact that it has all the oxygen collectors here um, still not still not oxygenated so I'll need to get a whole bunch of oxygen sealers which I will be putting basically in the same arrangement just next to the distributors and they will be pumping oxygen down to that. But this room, this room perfectly aired. Oh, there we go. So I can remove my oxygen tanks and breathe happily. I can keep them on and they won't be used or depleted, but that's, that's that. There you go, a uh, little bit of uh, instructional on the oxygen sealer. As you can see, I really like it because of this feature, where I can just go into this room, and now I'm on my tank. Now I go out here, and we're all fine and dandy. So if I wanted to, I could have animals in this room, no problemo. They'd be totally healthy and safe uh, while I go in and out of this room. Easy peasy. I could have uh, chickens, villagers, whatever, and they would be totally safe in here. 
good to know that the conduit facades do function as air type blocks, as do the elevators. That will make a huge difference for me later on. And yeah, going forward. There you go. I've also got chiseled glass, so that's all airtight. And yeah, so that means this should not have a problem. This is going to be fun. So that's going to do it for this quick little video. A little bit about uh, oxygen sealability. So you need uh, opaque full blocks. Glass panes will not work. You need full opaque blocks. Um, as far as I know, so long as it is uh, opaque, it should work. So any blocks like this. I believe glasses, you do have to go into config to manually alter if the mod... Um, if the mod is different, so like Tinker's Construct Clear Glass, I don't believe is considered to be uh, airtight. But you can edit that in the configs. So you can edit basically any block to function as uh, sealable. By default, it should just be anything with a glass ID. And I'm sure there are other different things like that. And then uh, any opaque block, like... Uh, like these technical blocks, the laboratory blocks, anything like that. Should be fine. And the elevators. Boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So yeah, that's going to do it for this though. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Hope that helps anybody trying to learn how to start up their own little airtight facility. Uh, I'm going to be doing more with this in my... Feed the Beast series, so if you'd like to learn a little bit more, uh, keep an eye out for those ones. Uh, I might do a further one, or another tutorial little thing, once I start uh, building on Mars, or building at my space sta station, and I come up with a, a more complicated oxygen setup, I don't know, we'll see. So that's going to do it for this, so thank you all for, or I've already done that part of my outro. Uh, if you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. Helps me out a ton, and I do always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the very next episode. Or in any of my other series, because I realize that this is not a regularly scheduled series. So maybe <laughs> it might be a while. Hopefully I see you sooner in other series. Bye for now.